It may not sound like much to some, but to Cecil Groves, that clinking and clanging is a ballet performing with a symphony. This is great. When they're dancing like this, it's music to your ears. Music, the sound of freedom. When you're a veteran, it means an awful lot more. You're, you're taught to respect it very early on. Which is why the nearly 350 flags that fly at American Legion Post 13 in Richland Center means so much. To me, it, it's a tremendous source of pride. When you see the number of flags that we have displayed, it's a commitment of the community that want to demonstrate their pride by purchasing a flag pole and marker here. The stone markers honor those who served in peace and in war. Some have passed. You know how old I am? And some live on. You want to guess? Like Sergeant Fuzz Spangler. 91. A Purple Heart recipient in World War II. I've got a bullet in my back I've carried since 1940, or 1945. Spangler was shot by a sniper while serving as part of the Army's 69th Infantry Division. In addition to the Purple Heart, he also received the Bronze Star. I think the fact that I was there and helped protect the flag, that's why we could fly him. Fuzz Spangler, or Francis as it reads on his stone, is just one of seven Spanglers memorialized in the flag park. I say I did my share. I can't say that I did any more than anybody else, but I know my older brother was killed. He gave his life, but he was only in the service two years. It is a day of remembrance to decorate and remember the past. And what better way to decorate than with the stars and stripes and that sound? They're just dancing, but they're not screaming. And, and it's kind of comforting to hear them, isn't it? In Richland Center. Oh, glory's flying high and proud. This is Jeremy Nichols for NBC 15 News. Now the flags fly from now until the weekend after Veterans Day. The park operates on donations and fundraisers with an annual cost of around $5,000. Now the biggest expense is having to replace the flags, which because of wear and tear due to weather conditions, about half the flags need to be replaced every year.